we're asked to simplify log base 5 of 25 to the x power over y. So we can use some logarithm properties. And I do agree that this does require some simplification over here, that this having this right over here inside of the logarithm is not a pleasant thing to look at. So the first thing that we realize, and this is the logarithm, one of our logarithm properties, is logarithm for a given base, so let's say that the base is x, of a over b, that is equal to log base x of a minus log base x of b. And here we have 25 to the x over y. So we can simplify, so let me write this down. I'll do this in blue. Log base 5 of 25 to the x over y using this property means that it's the same thing as log base 5 of 25 to the x power minus log base 5 of y. Now, this looks like we can do a little bit of simplifying. And it seems like the relevant logarithm property here is if I have log base x of a to the b power, that's the same thing as b times log base x of a. That this exponent over here can go be moved out front, which is what we did right over there. So this part right over here can be rewritten as x times the logarithm base 5 of 25. And then of course we have minus log base 5 of y. And this is useful because log base 5 of 25 is actually fairly easy to think about. This part right here is asking us, what power do I have to raise 5 to to get to 25? So we have to raise 5 to the second power to get to 25. So this simplifies to 2. So then we are left with, this is equal to 2, and I'll write it in front of the x now, 2 times x, 2 times x minus, minus log base 5 of y. And we're done.